for you. We're Welcome going to Circuit City Live. We have a great show today. You'll see here Big Mama okay, making okay. friends with us. Rand has the head. And <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, you didn't over here. Oh my God, I'm stuck I got in here. the leg. Okay, me. I'm ready. He's now, ready. Extreme <laughs> is a pet store right off. So today we have Sabrina and Steven to tell us okay. all about But first, let's remove Big Mama from yeah. the head. <laughs> it's got like a death grip on my leg over here. All right. Let's let you guys wrestle everything out and warm up your morning. How much? Okay, so Sabrina and yes. Steven. All right, so that was Big Mama. How much does Big Mama weigh? She's about 100 pounds. 100 pounds, and it felt like solid muscle yeah, on her. She gets oh, heavier muscle. the longer you hold her. Yeah, and tighter, <laughs> and tighter. And I guess let's start out really with an overview of Extreme Exotics and what you guys are all about, obviously. Extreme pets, but so much more. Yeah, so we have a retail store, retail pet store on Phillips Highway. Um, and we also have a 501c3 in St. Augustine. So we're all about education, conservation, and we do a ton of rescue work as well. Um, but we're just all about animals and just not the usual animals. So there's lots of rescues for dogs and cats, lots of places to buy dogs and cats. Um, but we do more of the reptiles, small mammals, snakes, lizards, turtles, you know, the I usual. And I had the opportunity to go out <laughs> there so my sons were doing research on a bearded dragon and your staff was awesome and that's one of the things that's so cool you're talking about education mm -hmm. you really do get a lot of education walking around and learning about really everything that you have there. yeah there's so many places where you can walk in hand them cash and they'll send you out the door with whatever animal you want and that's not always a good fit for the animal so um, our store is really focused on making sure you know what you're getting into and that you have the proper setup for the animal before you leave the store so who is somebody that would be a candidate to have a pet like Big Mama or <laughs> no one at all? I mean, yeah. what do you... So Burmese pythons, you have to have a special permit to have them. Okay. So it's really people that have raised them, experienced breeders, stuff like that, um, that have big snakes like this. Most people, three, four, five foot snake, that's about max what you really want to have in your household, what most people could manage. You know, something like this is... I would say you want to be trained. You want to have multiple people around you. I mean, as you can see, it moved the three of you around. So if she yeah. wants to pick a direction to go, she's going, you're going with her. <laughs> what else do we have in store for you? There's a lot of crates over there that are shaking off the side of the yes. camera. Well, do you want to do something a little smaller? Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? We kind of dove into that segment, didn't we? Yeah. We'll do something a little easier for you guys to handle. How about that? Since you said you were at the store looking at bearded dragons. Oh, wow. These oh, guys. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. So, so let's talk about these because obviously the snake is not an ideal pet for how right. big that one is. But bearded dragons is actually a great pet. They, they are one get, of the best. They don't get any bigger than about that? About 14 to 18 inches about oh, average for a dragon. I can handle yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> they're definitely one of the best pet lizards. They're very social. They're easy to handle. Um, they're just a really fun interactive pet and they don't get too big. So they're a great one for kids. One of our most highly recommended starter pets. And then what about maintenance? So, for example, the actual, the food, the mm -hmm. type of so, tank that you I mean, need. bearded dragons eat fresh salad every day. They do crickets. They do soup worms, mealworms. It, most parents would tell it's about a five-minute day maintenance. So if you can handle five minutes out of your day, you can handle having a bearded dragon. Most people put their lights on a timer, so they run her 12, 14 hours a day. Um, and then beardies are just friendly. I mean, it makes it easy for mm -hmm. kids and somebody that wants something simple at home because you can reach right in. You could take it out. And It'll sit with you. You and, can't hold them. That's the Yeah, and the less you try to confine like a beardy, like everybody always thinks they get squirmy, so they want to grab. If yeah. you just open your hands, beardies just want to sit with you. They're just oh. very chill. A lot of times they jump to your shoulder and they just, you walk around the house, go back to doing what you normally do and just let them hang out with you. And, and then the how close is this to full size? So you're about halfway there on that. Halfway there. So mm -hmm. we get... Okay. Size. And beardies come in so many cool colors, which is neat. So yeah. you have a wide variety. So each person can kind of pick their favorite. This orange is amazing. Yeah, he's, he's so cool. Oh, he yeah, look me. at that. He's, he's looking at me. Like, what's up? You got to taste doing? everything. Yeah. So, so this isn't what you were warning us against getting too big. Because we were, before the show, you were saying some people think that they're going to have something. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, okay. there's, there's a lot. I mean, when it comes to a tegu, a monitor, an iguana, these are all animals that get five, six feet. And everybody's like, oh, I can handle that. But I'm like, can you? You know, when you're looking <laughs> yes. at something going, I got to give up one of the bedrooms. So which two kids are going to bunk together so I can have this room for my pets? Or where are we going to put a 12-foot cage? That gets a little bit more complicated. And people forget you can buy a baby iguana this big, and in two years, it's six feet long. So it's a quick thing. It's not just, oh, I bring it home and I have years to plan for. Yeah. What's next? Yeah, what's next? Yeah. I just keep going, what's next? That's great. Yeah. I'll take this All one. right. We'll do something a little oh, easier. They're so cute. 
All right, a little more handleable yes. than Big Mama. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> is, that, is that Little Mama? Yeah. Oh, and, and what kind of uh, what kind of snake are we looking at here? So that's called a sun go boa. So it's a type of albino boa. That's a snake that gets anywhere from like six to eight feet. So that would be your. I don't want to have something too tiny. I want to have something a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. But boas are generally very tame, calm snakes. They're not head shy. They're not jumpy. Um, snakes make good pets for people on the simple fact that snakes generally eat once a week, so it makes it very easy for people to have a, a like a low maintenance pet for them. <laughs> okay, I'm over my fear of snakes now. So <laughs> this is my favorite snake. It's my own personal snake. It's a New Jersey pine snake. And New she, yeah, and she is about seven feet long. Um, but you can see this is as big around as they get. So they get long, um, but they're not super thick snakes that require very large meals. Yeah. But this is one of my personal favorites. <laughs> wow. I'm good. All right. <laughs> All right, these two snakes get along yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> it's a good right. example to show you know like that's a six foot snake. So yes. kind of you know in your mind just sometimes you think six foot is huge, but when you look at it in a snake for say it's not. Yeah, always it's a still pretty good snake. size. <laughs> do, do parents ever come in and say talk to him? He's oh, crazy. He wants. Uh, it, you know all the time, and we try to point people in that right direction. So yeah. I don't want anybody to go home and be like, wow, we really regretted this decision. So mm -hmm. I want you to come in, ask your questions, take your time. If you want to come in 15 times, hold things, try to figure it out. That's the best thing to do because when you have an animal that lives yeah. up to 30. 35 years, you got to have a little bit of a plan what you're doing. And that's kind of how the Wildlife Foundation started. People getting some of these extreme pets, they can't take care of them, and then they end up coming on your property. Exactly. And you get a lot of things. Uh, the internet can be the death of us sometimes. Sure. So let's, monkeys for say, everybody sees cute baby monkeys. Mm -hmm. How often do you ever see anybody post a big monkey on the internet? Yeah. Never. Right. <laughs> because little monkeys are friendly until they return it. Well, they're monkeys. invading our neighborhoods yeah. here in Jacksonville. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's the nice thing about the foundation is when people say something like they want a pet monkey, they can right. come to the foundation and we can show them why they don't. Well, and then you have an example of something that doesn't make a great pet and that is that gigantic lizard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we take a look Yo, at that? And it's actually, here, it can be very dangerous. One. Yes. I'll take the okay. little one if you want. Yeah. I'm just Y'all made friends. All kinds of reptiles yeah. going back and forth right. over here. Oh. So, Steven, so that it looks pretty Terrifying. aggressive. Yeah. Okay. And, and so, and, and monitors can be an amazing pet and a scary pet <laughs> all at the same time. Okay. She'll kind of just adjust herself. <laughs> monitors just take the right owner and the person that spends the right time. Monitors are very intelligent. They know person to person differently. They can react to who works with them every day. But you got to takes years to get a lizard like that. So it's not, I'm going to take this thing home. It's going to love me tomorrow. <laughs> um, you know, they ever talk about it. It's hard to see on my wrist, but I almost lost my wrist about a year ago um, to a monitor that just panicked when it jumped out of the cage. And I went to gently pick it up and it bit me and got scared. And it's part of having animals like this. They have razor sharp teeth. They can be dangerous. Um, not to say that everyone makes an awful pet, but it's one of those lizards that people need to have that experience. They need to have reptiles for years. They need to try different things and know that I'm not just going to walk into an expo and buy this for 50 bucks. And you really have to be an expert when you get to something like this, <laughs> I would imagine, with the diet and the things that it needs in order to sustain a good quality of life. Oh, absolutely. And that's one of the things that you're after. When people come in, you say no sometimes to people. But they're like, you know what? If you can't do this the right way, you shouldn't do this. All the time. Exactly. And that's why there's animals like bearded dragons and ball pythons. There's great beginner stuff for people to have something like this and not go, I have to have the most extreme thing today. Let's talk about your YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, so we um, started a channel because we really wanted to have a platform to speak our piece on what we think makes good pets and what we think doesn't make good pets. And so we thought that was a good platform to reach young kids today. Um, they're not really on Instagram as much as they used to be. Everything's about YouTube now. And so we wanted to give ourselves a chance to say, hey, this is what we think makes a good pet. This is what we don't think makes a good pet. So we have lots of um, information on there. Girlfriend makes an appearance on an episode <laughs> where we talk about how bearded dragons are great pets and water monitors are not great. So that's definitely something that we use that for. And your YouTube channel, it's Wild Side with it is. Sabrina. The so Wild obviously Side go to with YouTube. Sabrina. And with Extreme Exotics, you guys are located right off Phillips Highway. You Go to the Facebook page and find all the information there. You guys always have posts of what comes in new as far as animals and different care tips and stuff like that. That tongue, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will be out to your Wildlife Foundation. I know the doors open on that pretty soon. Yeah, hopefully. And you're going to have month. a lot of animals out oh, there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we'll be back with more River City Live after a wake up from.